Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm going to take apart a couple of these color changing light up stocking holders so that we can see what's inside and figure out how they work. Just like in my other what's inside type of videos, I want to see one, how I can maybe get this fixed, two, what parts might be reusable if I want to do them for something else, and three, get an idea of just how this thing works in general. So it's easy to see once you got the battery pack apart that it runs off about 4.5 volts. All of these are corroded out and the contacts cannot work anymore. So I already know that if I want to use these again for something, I need to find an alternate source of power. So I'll get to that a little bit later. But for now, you can easily see that there's a demo switch usually on these, but there's also an on off switch that they all have, which could be repurposed for another project too. The heavy weight that was on the bottom is used to give it a little bit of low center of gravity force so that when there's a stocking hanging on this, it doesn't get pulled off a mantle or a table or wherever you happen to want to hang a stocking up. The circuitry on this is actually very basic and simple. There is essentially a little circuit board with three different colored LEDs on it, and when it's connected to power, the circuit board itself allows the lights to alternate which one is on in sequence. In order to actually see that working, we're gonna have to bypass the battery contacts and put power directly into the leads that connect into the circuit board and circuitry. Go ahead and flip this thing on and you can see the three LEDs working. As you've probably already noticed, there's not a whole lot to this. It's not complicated. And whatever happens to be under this glob top is what is controlling the flow of power. When you take a look at the top of the chipboard, you see the three different LEDs. Each one lights up with a different color. And then there are two additional resistors that control the flow of power to those parts that don't need full power. And there you have it. That's really all there is to this. So I've got a few parts that I'm actually gonna keep from these since the battery pack itself is broken. But the switches and lights will come in very handy for future projects, including some maybe prank ideas that I've got in mind. Hey, thank you very much for stopping by Dialed In DIY today to join me in this product breakdown. If you got something out of it, liked it, or maybe just had a little bit of curiosity satisfied, let me know by clicking that thumbs up below. I'd also love it while you're here if you'd go ahead and subscribe and make sure to click that bell so that you can get notifications for future videos. And as always, make sure to come on back because there will be plenty more Dialed In DIY to come.